Hi everybody, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to part two of our Hey June Quilt Along. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is our part two. Uh, I hope if you missed, if you're just catching us now and don't know what's going on, part one was live at 9 a.m. Central Time. You can find that video on our YouTube channel, so don't worry, you can always catch up. How's everybody doing? I've been seeing some great progress. Before, um, I'm gonna show you some photos I just snatched off of our Gudrun uh, Quilt Crew group on Facebook, but I wanted to give you an update. I talked about how many country, uh, country are represented here, how many states, uh, territories, and provinces in Canada, and now I have the updated results, so I thought I would tell you, we have 34 countries going on with us today. Isn't that amazing? I'm just going to read them because we got to give everybody a shout out. Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hong Kong, Hungary, Iceland, India, Ireland, Jersey, Malaysia, Mexico, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Nigeria, Norway, Poland, Slovakia, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, Tonga, England, Scotland, and the U.S. of A. Yay! Isn't that awesome? All right, so as far, and we also have folks from the armed forces in Europe, so thank you all for being here. As far as Canadian uh, territories and provinces, we have Alberta, British Columbia, um, we have Manitoba, New Brunswick, New Newfoundland, Northwest Territories, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Prince Edward's Island, Quebec, Saskatchewan, and the Yukon. That's pretty awesome. And in the US of A, we have every single state represented, actually 51, if we count DC. Hopefully you'll get your state some, sometime. <laughs> so everybody is here. I love that. And I think we need to give a round of applause for everybody. So let's check in on your progress. I snatched some photos. Let me see, just to give a little shout out. Um, let's put some of our photos up that I took off of our group. Um, there is, these are Carolyn's. Carolyn's pieces, she's in Edinburgh. And over in, in Europe, and looking good, she's using some um, of uh, last year's. This looks like, um, what is it? The, it was not Dance in Paris last year. It was called something, like Day in Paris. All right, so Connie has her, her pieces done. She's using Show Me the Honey. Oh, I love that. And then we have um, Patty's Mad Scientist. No. This is Pamela's pieces. Pamela's beautiful yellow and blue coming together. We have Linda's pieces ready to go. This is awesome. Great blues and whites. Oh, here's Patty's Mad Scientist. Um, we have, Lisa has a little snack on her sewing machine. Can you show that one? I think I need to have this installed in my sewing machine. Number 50? Yeah, this needs to come like installed into every sewing machine. It should regenerate <laughs> after it's out. I love it. And then uh, we have Debbie and her friends. Look at that. They are feasting on some non-alcoholic peach slushy, slushies, June slushies. Love it. This is awesome. What a great morning, everybody. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Let's announce our winners. So our random uh, comment generator, Pick two winners from all of your comments, both on YouTube and Facebook, from part one. And our winners are two winners from every part. Um, okay, keep the drum roll going. Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? Who is it going to be? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to help you spell it out. He's trying to type it up so he can put it on the screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, there it is. Our winners.
for part one are Deb Haynes and Elaine Pettyjohn. Yay, you guys. Congrats. We will send you some goodies. So make sure you email us help at geequaldesigns.com to get so we can get your address and get out to you. Otherwise, we will hunt you down because we probably got your email from when you purchased the pattern. All right. So uh, I have a very, very special guest joining us. If you have been following us all throughout this pandemic, starting with the Elvira quilt along, you probably know this person very well. You might know her very well. She is one of my dearest and greatest friends. We don't get to see each other much, especially lately, but we stay in touch and this is great. So, hey everybody, say hi to Miss Bonnie Hunter of Quiltville fame. Hi Bonnie. Hi everybody. How's, how's it going? Happy Saturday, happy sew along. I know. This is just like too cool. I know it's like exciting. It? Oh, so I was exciting. telling Bonnie, like I told everybody else that this quilt along kind of signified as we're coming out of this pandemic, new and refreshed right whole new outlook on life absolutely Absolutely. And our lives have changed forever it's not going to be back to normal it's our new normal i think lives have changed outlooks have changed and priorities in so many changed. ways for the better and yeah. i think yeah. you are a big piece of that right that has happened for you <laughs> right <laughs> me too <laughs> yeah it it really really did and and uh, I just, I feel real, to coin the phrase, reawoke, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, things to, things to be grateful for, things that weren't working in my life. Um, yeah. It put focus on family and friends and all of those things that really matter in life. And let us reassemble all of those pieces into something that we want to see moving forward. So it's been hard, mm -hmm. but also joyful. And, it is. Uh, yeah, and change I'm, I'm is always hard. It's change is always hard, no matter what form yeah. it comes in. It's just a matter of what's your attitude tackling it. And if you go into change right. just with an open mind and trying to find the best of things, I think it's always going to be yeah. a good thing. It's Absolutely. again this whole phrase that I love, Icelandic phrase, you only live if you learn. So I think we've learned so much this year. And life is just going to keep getting better. Absolutely. So they is the husband happy? Fabric happy, comes in the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fabric comes in the mail, yeah. <laughs> I get a whole warehouse that I can walk around in. <laughs> so oh, my gosh. You it's wake just up giddy. awesome, yeah. yeah. Now, is the husband yeah. happy to have you more at home? He is, and, you know, we always wanted to do something together. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Not calling. That was actually my, my lunch call. You know that lunch is on next door. <laughs> so they can wait. I told them I was on a call at noon. Yeah. So, um, but we always planned on what we wanted to do together. And this kind of evolved into where later down the road, we realized that we were already there to, to yep. make those those changes. So it was like, okay, I guess it's now. Here we are. What are I we gonna, know. What are we going to do? And, and that was uh, the same see, for me. I was I had yeah. a long-term plan to cut down on the travel and the teaching, but then all of a sudden it's like, boom. Okay, okay. it's now. Okay, I guess it's, it's now. now. And we didn't see now. each other more than half of the year, so now yeah. it's been every day. And how's that been for you, thing. being being home? And it's been beautiful, be beautiful you know. Home and grandbabies. And yeah, everything. that's the only yeah. thing. I don't get to see him as much as I want to, but we FaceTime yeah. almost every day. And, of course, oh, Mr. Sweet. HP. What do you think? It's so beautiful <laughs> to be with me every day. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Blessing. Yes, it's a blessing. Seth it is a, a blessing. smile. Yeah. Yeah. And he blessing. does have a smile on his face, right? He's not he's not I giving do. you the, the stink guy from back <laughs> behind there. No. It's a smile. It's a smile. It's a smile. Just a yeah. smile. It's wonderful. And it's yeah. it's kind of one of those things where you don't know until you're thrust into it if it's gonna be great or what it's gonna be. And so once you're in the travel mode in the wild, you know, you don't really, you can't see it until you no. are thrown in it. And you're like, wait, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> it is Anyways. amazing. It's amazing to not, I have not set my alarm clock 
since lockdown started a year ago, March. I have wow. not set an alarm. I have not had to wait to an alarm, wake to an alarm clock. And that, that has been an amazing realization mm-hmm. that, you know, have you been to an airport since he is not that bad. No, so I have not flown anywhere <laughs> since, since, uh, February of 2020. Right. And I, you know, we lived half of our lives in airports. Um, so exactly. I have flown cause I had to go see my grandbaby, but it's, yeah. you know, there was a time where I took two flights in the same month and I was like, whoa, <laughs> I used to do this yeah. two times a week, three Weekly. times a week. Weekly. Yeah. And I was, it was like, it was a crazy, crazy treadmill. It was very good when it was very, very good, but there comes a time where we embrace change. You yes, know, yeah. we just, and the thing is, is it's, if you, if you try a change and it doesn't work, nobody says you have to stay there. You can no. always change again exactly. and change again. And we continually fine tune what we're doing to end up where we want to be. Yep. So I love there's that. always, there's always growth. I love yeah. that. Always. Yeah. And if you don't like what you're doing or where you're going, you can, you have the power to change it. You do. Everybody That's- does. All right. So That's I, right. speaking of your life changing and now you're being able to host people again. I have your, people. <laughs> beautiful quilt villa. I have people. You have people and there's people, people there right now. Six days a week. Yeah. I have a group of 12 um, treating with me right now and they are from as far away as North Carolina. And okay. uh, we've got some Ohio, I've got some Michigan and they all formed a group. Oh, and they perfect. are um, retreating. Okay, so, so you have a little video or some photos to share? Yeah, let's play the video that Bonnie just took this morning. And that okay. looks like a gorgeous day in the mountains. Oh, that's beautiful. It's I'm a going to sneak Sorry up. for my phone. <laughs> Can we hear the audio on the video? or retreating yeah, quilters and see what they're up to this morning. We've got a full house. We're going to sneak right on in. Come on in. Oh, look, I see beautiful Scrappy Mountain Majesties on the floor in recycled fabrics. Here's our sewing room over there. Hi, everybody. How you doing this morning? Wow. You're quilting away. Who was our latest <laughs> stayer upper last night? She oh, she's, still she, she's still in bed. <laughs> They've been having a wonderful time. We've got space for 12 quilters in here, and we've moved the groupings around in sets of three so they can sew with their friends. How you doing, everybody? Hi. 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 Irene finally finished her quilt top on the wall. How long have you had that kit? I bought the kit in... 2013. It's about time it became a quilt. It's absolutely beautiful. My favorite thing about hosting retreats is seeing the beautiful progress that happens on the design walls all the way around the room. We've got some lovely little garden party blocks on the wall, some straights of Mackinac happening, and 12 days of Christmas. Way ahead of time or seven months late? Which is it? Seven months late. Seven months late. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So we're going to take a little walk this way. We do still have one sleeping, but we're going to come on out this way to the back porch because the back porch is where all of our meals are happening. So here's little kitchen. Lights are off, but we'll come out to the back porch. I absolutely love this in summertime. And there we have it. We've got tables and a grill, and everybody loves to enjoy the space outside. This porch was made for quilters, and I absolutely love having them here. Thanks for inviting me, Gudrun. I always love being with you, and we'll see you soon. Oh, what fun. (laughs) All right. So I loved your answer seven months late. I mean, that could yeah. easily have been five years late. <laughs> yeah. Right? I know. It always amazes me when people can do Christmas in July because I never feel like doing Christmas until I'm the same way. I want to sew Christmas <laughs> during Christmas. But then I have nothing yeah. ready. But but sew for next yeah. year. Okay, so these yeah. are beautiful photos um, that you took you. this morning too. 
I did. And then there were a couple, I don't know if you got those from last night, we had a fire pit out in the backyard and we were watching fireflies and toasting marshmallows and making some more. So those oh, photos may, may or may awesome. not have made it to you. That looks but, wonderful. On the <laughs> with balcony, my slow yeah. internet. Yeah, yeah, the slow internet is I'm a little just, challenging, but we made it work. But you know what? It, it, we make it work and it I, what I it just is. love having the house full. So yeah. it's full oh, of almost seven place. days a week now. Yeah. 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 I love so, that. Look how welcoming wonderful. that porch is. I will make it there one day. You will. We have to you just will, make the plan. You will, and Kirk will bring his motorcycle. Yes. Bring the motorcycle, oh, ride yeah. the Blue Ridge Parkway. Got to bring the Harley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring the Harley. You got oh, it. That looks so great. You got it. So I saw you had oh, two you. new patterns recently, right? I do. Not I do. Released. And I'm... I'm really excited. My my goal is to find homes for all of the orphan fabric that nobody else oh, wants. Nice. You know, those small hunks and chunks. Can mm -hmm. I show you one? I have yeah. one here. The other one's next door. But is this is Bitcoin? what you do with all of the strips. This is Bitcoin. I'm yeah. obsessed with this one. I am obsessed with this one. Yeah, I am. So it just, <sighs> it emptied a whole drawer of strips. And there's, awesome. there's no rhyme, no reason. You just put two strips together and make some sub cuts and make your ladders yeah. as long as you want them. And, and so that exactly. was a lot of fun. It'll probably go to my same son. same size strips? Um, they're all the same size strips, but the ladders are different lengths. Oh uh, yeah, So yeah, some, yeah. some of the ladders have three repeats or five repeats or seven repeats. That's what makes it And fun. it's just how you put them together. Yeah. So it's just, it's a, it's a good clean out. Oh, really, yeah. really. A, a fun one. I've loved it. a great it. leader just mentor. Loved it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other one that, that I did was I had about 1,200 triangles in it. So Bitcoin was really fun to do after that one was done. Oh. I may pass on that one. Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have to tell you that my retreaters, I have um, my stripology rulers up at the retreat and they use them all the time. Great. So thank you, thank you, thank you for putting that stripology oh. ruler out there. Oh, of course. Because it makes bit Bitcoin oh. a snap. A snap, yeah. yeah. I can totally see that. Yeah. And you can use all kinds of weird scraps yeah. for it, I'm, I'm assuming. It does, so. yeah, it doesn't matter. I tried to limit the neutrals, so it was getting rid of all the odd colors that don't match anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. Throw all the um, <laughs> unfortunates in there, or <laughs> unfortunate fabrics. That, yeah, lesser this, loved, lesser And this, loved. this quilt is actually a perfect one where you can throw all unfortunate fabrics in, and it will still be great. Yeah, and they're yeah, those, it's just stunning. It just, I do too. All right. Great, well, it's a joy to see happy. you, Bonnie. Thank you, um, everybody. Thank hugs. you so much. Virtual Big hugs. hugs all the mm -hmm. way around to everybody. Yeah, and, thank uh, you have for a with wonderful us. afternoon. Sewing up. Happy, happy, happy. Hey, June. Yes. And I hope to talk to you again soon, my friend. Yes. And there's a playlist. If you need music in the retreat, uh, there is a Hey, June playlist. I'll go turn it on because I've got Spotify. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I will go find it. Say goodbye yeah, to Bonnie, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Have a wonderful so Much love. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, I miss her. It's always fun to see her. And so thank you so much for being with us. We're going to move right into uh, some more sewing. I know you're ready. I see some of you are finished with a step one and two. So we're going to move right along into steps three and four that's what we're going to do in this part so i know one went pretty fast so we're moving right on in so step two um no step three and four we're just gonna do them both together so th step three you're gonna take your squares both the light square and the dark square and now we're gonna sew the shorter rectangle units to the squares so we're gonna take um, a dark square so my b square is gonna have a rectangle units on it and when you sew these make sure that you um, place them exactly like shown so i have my background on the bottom so we're gonna remember that bb background on the bottom for those first ones background on the bottom so you place it like this and then you stitch down this way so then when you're sewing on the other side, you actually also do background on the bottom so that you end up with it being opposite. So this is how you sew. And then for the 
for the dark squares or the B squares, you're going to press towards the B. And then for the light ones, it's the same thing. We, we sewed dark ones on the outside. So this will become like this. And then we're going to press them away from the background. I mean, away from the square. So this goes out, this goes in. All right. Again, backgrounds here. So now we're moving on. So this is what we're going to do with all of our units. And I use two different ones to two different fabrics. You don't have to match these two. But now going on into step four, you are going to want to match your long and short here. So this one gets sewn on here. And this one gets sewn on this side. So this is the same fabric. This is the same fabric. And this is your background. So same thing with surrounding the dark square and matching up the corners. Now when you're sewing these on, so just let me show you, if, visualize if you're putting this on the machine. Now the background is at the top. So you always want to just match background to background and then fabric to fabric. So you just want to check here. This matches, this matches. I'm good to go. And so you can sew down this way. Same thing here. All right, so then making sure that you have those two units pressed differently. I'm going to move these out of the way and show you the two that I have finished of um, an A and a B. So I have an A square that all of the seams are pressed out away from the square. And then I have one with a dark where all of the seams are pressed towards the square. So that's how we want to do it. We want to make. Um, a units, I'm calling them A units if the center is um, the light or the A fabric, and then the B units with a B in the center. So we're going to just keep making these. Now you want to be able to have, just for variety's sake, I would say at least four and four to, to continue on um, in the next steps. So if you focus on finishing maybe four and four, that would be ideal. If you can get more done, that's even better. So um, don't get confused. and think you did something wrong by seeing this gold here instead of the blue. I'm doing a few different backgrounds. So you'll see the, the result of that later. But same idea. This is my background. And these are my A's and B's, A's and B's. All right. Let's check out some questions. Anything popping up for you? Uh, you can't, it doesn't really matter. So if you had the same fabric on each corner, don't worry about it. We're going to cut them apart. So that really doesn't matter. So it's okay. You don't have to, but you can mix them up. I always like to mix things up just because, uh, you know, I like variety. So let's see if we have any questions. Do we have to worry about directional yet? So um, let me talk about that because this, both of my centers are, directional here that I have in this sample. So I just sewed this one this way. So if I were to do a lot of different ones um, like this, let me see. So for example, I have another square here that I was going to make. And this one was sewn this way. Uh, what I would do just to have um, some options, I would probably the next one I would sew, I would just start it like this. And um, sew the units on like that so that I'd have a different orientation. So once we finish the block, it can go in different places in the quilt. Not a big deal, but it just will give you more variety in where those blocks can go. Okay. So no, we don't, we don't have to overthink it at this point yet, because I told you the outer, outer fabrics are not gonna, you're not going to be able to get them all in the same direction anyway. Um, no, the, somebody says the printed pattern shows the background at the top. Can you clarify? Background in the pattern is the teal. So background on the bottom and step three. Um, okay. So the background is teal. All right. So uh, Mary Lou, now I see doing the different backgrounds. I couldn't visualize it before. Well, it's going to be look very different once we finalize the block. So it would be fun to see at the end of the day how these will look. I'm excited to see it. Maybe. It doesn't work, but I think it's going to be cool, especially with these fun fabrics. 
the uh, we're just calling them the Coco fabrics. They're called Day of the Dead, but it's Coco. Have you seen the Disney movie? Johan's favorite movie. Um, I haven't got three yards of one back fabric for a background. Can it be mixed? Yes, it can be mixed. Like I'm using four different ones, but what you want to do also, just like the other ones that you want to match. So if you're doing multiple different fabrics, if it's different colors, can you show the overhead? Um, if you're doing different colors like I am, you want to match the two on the corners here. And it's okay if this is different and this is different, um, although it's just easier to maneuver it with the same, but you want these two to match. If you're doing like a scrappy background, if you're, for example, doing multiple different lights that all are in the same uh, kind of color family and same hue, then I would just mix it up scrappy, not a big deal. All right, any other questions? No, let me check here. Here's one. Oh, is a two and a half inch strip count in the pattern for the king size? If you're using 10 squares, 10 squares and two and a half inch strips. I'm not really understanding the 10 squares, but I will look into that. Um, email me if you have any concerns or need ex explanation, but I will um, check it out. And 10 inch square? There are 10 inch squares. Oh, if you're using, yeah, I'll look at that. Should be right. Okay, do you, the dark strips always go with the light blocks. Yes, so the dark strips will go on the outside of the light and vice versa, light on the outside of the dark. Or, you know, if you have just two color groups, just like the pattern states, we have A's here, then you have B's here. If you have B's here, you have A's on the outside. Okay? I think we are good. Let me see. Oh, what about the sandwich recipe? I forgot to upload that. We'll uh, have it next time. Stack and whack. <laughs> I need to put that photo. Stack and uh, whack Give you that best. photo to post. It's right. a good photo. But that makes everybody hungry, which is perfect. It'll be lunchtime next time. Yeah. So what I want you to do is make some of these. Like I said, at least four and four would be great before moving on. If you can get more done, great. Don't worry. It all in your own time. You are sewing at your own speed. So keep this, those comments coming. We'll pull two winners from all your comments during this part, and we'll announce them at the beginning of part three, which will be at 1 p.m. in about an hour and a half. So you got some time. Enjoy the process, and keep on quilting. I'll see you in a little bit. Mm -hmm.